Hey guys, it's Bro you Wack, and today I figured I would bring back a classic. It's been about three years since I've done one of these videos, but it was always one of my favorite series that I've done, which is talking about skins that we will never, ever see because Blizzard hates us. Now, what the series entails is me showcasing skins that we'll probably never see come into the game, typically because of copyright issues, either because it's a crossover skin with a character from a different video game or from a different IP, and that company doesn't want to share their character with another video game company because they see them as competition. But it's still fun to see what kind of skins could be made for our favorite heroes that are inspired from other characters, other entities from other companies. And just to show you the skin potential that we will probably never ever see come into the game to make you sad about what could have been, I want to show to you this Iron Man Genji skin. This is the perfect representation of what a crossover skin should be, where it's clearly Genji. You obviously know him, you know the face, you know the armor, you know the lights, everything that you would typically see on the classic Genji skin is there, but it's just transformed to have the exact same color scheme as Iron Man, but also the glowing effects from Iron Man's armor, specifically in his chest. And looks wise, oh, it looks amazing, but the sound potential from the skin, oh, could you imagine like a Jarvis boot up sound or if they played Welcome Iron back, Man sir. whenever you use your ultimate? Like even if you whiff the ultimate and get zero kills, it'd still be cool, man. There are just some heroes that deserve a skin. Yeah, and I feel like Genji is the perfect hero to represent, well, the leader of the Avengers. Some people say Captain America. I mean, Iron Man, he's one of those cool billionaire playboy heroes, and I feel like Genji kind of fits that narrative as well. I mean, a couple years ago, I did make a video showcasing a Farrah Iron Man skin, and while Farrah could easily have an Iron Man skin, Genji, like, he's just looking too cool in this one with the blue visor and then the glowing lights throughout the whole entire skin. He's like, ooh, I'm not even really an Iron Man fan. I'm more or less a Spider-Man fan, but I absolutely love this skin. Hey, but if we're talking about Spider-Man, can we just talk about one more superhero skin? Because I gotta show y'all this Gwen Widowmaker skin. Widow... <laughs> Widowmaker. You're looking so good. I mean, Gwen looks good. Widowmaker looks good. So it only makes sense that a crossover between the two spider women, of course, looks phenomenal. For any of y'all who don't know who Gwen Stacy is, she was the female protagonist in Into the Spider-Verse with Miles Morales, where she was basically the female Spider-Man just with her own identity as Gwen. And in the movie, Gwen's got the cleanest suit of all time. Of course, she's got the white top and black bottom, but what I love most about her suit is that she's got the pinkish purple spider spider webbing that you see inside of her arms, but inside of her hood. The hood is what kills it for me, bruh. So it only makes sense to give the spider character an overwatch, the Gwen Stacy fitting with, of course, the same exact suit and the same exact hood. Now, we do kind of have a quote-unquote Spider-Man skin with literally spider that came out of the Halloween event, but, 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 but no, 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 I like this crossover a lot more because not only is it a lot more fun because it's a crossover skin with another spider character, but it's just a dope looking skin in general because of the hood and the pinkish purplish webbing. Plus, I would also like to see a little spider web shooting sound effect every single time she does a grapple hook and maybe even make her grapple hook just straight up webbing. I want more spider attributes and assets given to Widowmaker because a lot of time I forget that she's a character named after a spider. Why doesn't she have a lot more spider skins and references? <laughs> Alright, here's a skin that we'll never see coming to Overwatch that I know all my Mercy, like literally every single Mercy main I know would love this skin is gonna be heartbroken and knowing that we will never ever ever see a Sailor Moon Mercy skin. So I recently just started watching Sailor Moon and I absolutely love it, mainly because the girl characters are actually good written girl characters and not just like Sakura over here. <laughs> I actually like Sakura. Sakura is not that poorly of a written character, they're just better written characters in Naruto. But Usagi and the rest of the sailors are really fun and really great characters. So who else is deserving of a character skin that represents a very powerful, magical, but also a very feminine character in an anime? Well, none other than another character in an FPS game that is super powerful, magical, and feminine as well, Mercy. Now, admittedly, this skin crossover with Mercy doesn't share a lot of elements with Sailor Moon, with the exception of the blonde long hair and the buns at the top and the moon crescent on her forehead, which I guess are the most iconic parts about Usagi to begin with, but the rest of it, it's just Mercy with her classic bodysuit with, I guess, a pink color tone to it, but it's also kind of red, and her just doing the Sailor Moon pose, but hey, if they were to share more elements like changing the look, logos or maybe giving her a short skirt or making her say moon person power makeup whenever she uses her ultimate then I think it would look like a 
fire skin crossover. Plus, I don't know, Mercy just kind of reminds me of Sailor Moon as if she was a 14-year-old girl that had magical pairs that have a black cat where she simps over a masked man that doesn't really care about her all that much, but kind of does, but kind of doesn't, but kind of does. But if we're gonna have a Sojo anime crossover skin, we of course gotta get a Shonen one. And y'all know me, I love me some Naruto, but especially the Akatsuki members. So what if we gave the other anime character in Overwatch, Moira, an Akatsuki robe skin, specifically crossing her over with Itachi. Literally the only reason why this skin would work with Moira specifically is how she runs in game. She of course has the famous Naruto run, the Naruto run that was popularized in the anime Naruto, which is why she has the Akatsuki robe. <laughs> and besides the fact that she runs like all the ninjas in that show, I guess it also makes sense for her to get crossover with Itachi because while she's not necessarily the leader of Talon, just like how Itachi isn't necessarily the leader of the Akatsuki, they're both probably the most powerful members in their organization, or at least the smartest in their organization. Now, if only Blizzard can figure out some lore ties with Mora and how she can get her Mankenko Sharingan eyes, that would be the perfect lore story with the crossover skin. I mean, the skin looks dope, but the story mwah, would give it that chef's kiss that we all love in our favorite anime. Basically, just turn Overwatch into an anime and you'll get everybody hyped for Overwatch 2. I, I promise, Blizzard. But last time I did one of these videos, I talked about a skin that we'll never see involving McCree with a Woody skin from Toy Story. Because it makes sense, they're both cowboys from the old west, but one skin crossover that I realized I haven't talked about because I don't think Ash was released around this time was a crossover skin between Ash and Jesse from Toy Story. Not Jesse McCree, nah, the old western cowgirl, Jesse. I grew up on the Toy Story franchise where I have an appreciation for Toy Story 1, but I absolutely adore Toy Story 2. Mainly because the animation quality is a lot better because it's not the first 3D animated movie that they ever made. But the second reason is because they introduce a lot more characters that I also love, specifically with Jesse. She was a really good female counterpart to Woody who was the main protagonist in the movie if you don't count Buzz Lightyear, which is the same exact kind of vibe that I get with Jesse McCree and Ash in Overwatch. So what better way to showcase their very, very awkward relationship than giving them couple skins by making McCree Woody because I still want that skin, but also giving Ash the Jesse skin treatment. And I've only seen one crossover skin involving Jesse and Ash, which is surprising because this would be the perfect skin to make for Ash. I mean, if there are any artists out there watching that want to make a Jesse Ash skin, tweet it to me on Twitter because I would love to see. I mean, I love the skin concept. It looks perfect, but I want to see some more Ash Jesse skin concept art because I absolutely love Toy Story and Ash, and I want to see these skins come to life. Moving on to another skin that we'll never see, but might have a possibility because they just recently got announced for Super Smash Bros. Ultimate as the final Smash DLC character. We, of course, have a crossover skin involving Sora from the Kingdom Hearts series. And I was hyped once I saw that Sora announcement, but I also got to thinking, yo, who could have a Sora skin in Overwatch? Who could wield the most famous sword in the whole entire Kingdom Hearts series, the Keyblade? And then I figured it out, y'all. Reinhardt could have a crossover skin <laughs> with Sora. Okay, so this so this concept are probably not the best. It looks extremely cursed, I'll admit. But it's the idea that I've fallen in love with Reinhardt wielding the Keyblade and having sound effects from the Kingdom Heart video game. And I really haven't even been talking about different sound effects with all these skins, but I just want sound effects like how they did specifically with Pink Mercy to come with some of these crossover skins, even though we'll probably never see any of these skins. But if we did, oh, I would love to see a Sora Reinhardt Reinhardt skin. Once again, if there's any artists out there that love Kingdom Hearts but love Reinhardt, please tweet me a concept art of Sora and Reinhardt because I want to see this skin, but along with all these other skins come to life. Along with this last and final crossover skin that we'll probably never ever see come into Overwatch because once again, Marvel just has a tight grip around their characters and IPs. Ladies and gentlemen, we talked about Spider-Man, we talked about Iron Man, but we have yet to talk about an antagonist character from the hit movie series, The Avengers. So what if we were to give another evil doer character in the Overwatch universe, specifically in the talent organization, Sombra, a Loki skin? Oh.
Oh, please, Blizzard, please collaborate with other characters because this looks too good, man. Mad Skills makes a lot of crossover skins that I showcase in a lot of my videos, but here they're coming in hot with the somber Loki crossover skin, giving them the devil horns with the green suit and the fur coat to match the rest of the uniform. Oh my God, bruh. Like all these crossover skins, besides maybe the, the Sora and Reinhardt crossover skin, all make sense because they're very fitting for the character. Like, Loki has this energy that Sombra is able to match that it's just like that sly evil doer that is very smart but still very evil but imagine if they were on well the good guy's side maybe bringing world peace solving world hunger and bringing so many anime cat girls into the real world and making all of us down bad boys finally be up I don't know how that relates to Sombra and Loki but this skin looks good I mean I think it speaks for itself just like all these other crossover skins that once again we were probably never see due to copyright due to blizzard not wanting to work with other companies or due to what other reasons but it would be amazing to see these skins come into overwatch specifically in overwatch 2 because i don't know collaborations always get people excited it gets the overwatch community excited it gets the kingdom hearts or the marvel or the toy story fandom excited because hey their characters are coming to life in another video game and that's what i really love about these skins but will we ever see them probably not but i love you guys Thank you guys for watching. More of our videos to come, and bye.